Okay, ready to go. Go for Charlie. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Congratulations on the win. But there's nothing like a nervy, intense start to a Premier League season. I know the first half was a dominant one, but the second half may be frustrating from your point of view. Yeah, welcome to the Premier League. Um, I think that's, I think, the... The, the highlight, um, we were super dominant, um, we deserve to win the game, and there's no question that we deserve to win the game. But when you are tuning up and we had some chances to, to kill the game, we didn't. And then we gave a very sloppy goal away after being there and having the corner and having a chance on the corner to stray away in two passes, um, concede a goal. And when that happens in the league, it's game on. Every team has the resources, the quality to, to create issues. And it was more about the feeling than actually what happened, because the reality is that we didn't concede anything. But, yeah, you are running the clock down, and, and in this league, that's a very dangerous thing to do. But overall, obviously, very happy. And the, is there an update on Timber? Because he looked quite nasty on his yeah. knee. Was there an option at half-time to take him off? Because obviously, he picked up a little knock. No, well, the, the physios, the doctors, they looked at him, and, and, and they were happy to continue, and, and him as well. But straight away in the second half, the first action, he made a movement, and it was a bit funny. So, uh, yeah, we took him straight after out, and, and now we have to assess him, see, see what he has. And just one more, if I may. Uh, and Bakar Saka, devastating as always. As soon as he cuts in on that left, even you must think that this is going to be a goal, and what a goal it was. Well, from that distance, I guess, matter is not very easy to score, but it was a, an incredible finish. <coughs> Gabriel started the game on the bench today and um, Thomas Partey seemed to be filling in that right back at times. Was that a purely tactical decision? Yeah. It's, we expected a game um, that actually happened and, uh, and we needed uh, somebody else in midfield to do what we have to do the best and to have more fluidity and, and as well to occupy certain spaces in relation to how they were defending and I think it worked really well. Nick? Michael, I, I know it's only day one, so maybe can't be super critical, but does that drop off in the second half towards the end worry you a bit? I mean, we, we saw it a few times maybe last season as well. Is, it, is that something that you want to stamp out? For sure, and it's, it's going to be very difficult to dominate games for 100 minutes. And uh, But it's why we allow them to, to get some grip of the game, because they didn't concede, um, sorry, create anything, but at the end, on that action, um, the game changes, and, and momentum changes and shifted immediately after that goal. And uh, and then, yeah, that's not the moment to change it. You cannot change it. Now you have to be so good at dealing with that situation and um, and running the clock down and, and earn the points. And the team has done that really well. But uh, we need to have to be more ruthless and, and more critical of ourselves to to be more pushy and, and kill the games. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Do you feel like some of the strategies that you're trying out now are kind of almost designed to identify solutions for problems from last season. So, for example, teams come here with a low block. Mm -hmm. OK, let's maybe take out a defender and play him more in midfield and so mm -hmm. on. Are you trying to come up with different things to take Arsenal to the next level in all those little details? Is that well, the plan? That's my job, <laughs> to create uh, bigger problems to the opponent than the ones that they are creating us, you know, and to play the best possible way to, to end the right to win the game and have the, the highest possible probability to to win the game. In order to do that, we have to pick the right players every every week, but not to start only, but as well to to finish. And, and the players that they come in um, in the, the final part of the game, they really help us as well to, to end that right to win. Do you expect quite a lot of variation in terms of your starting 11s then, according yeah. to game by game? Is that yeah. what's going on? Sam? Sorry, I'm just going back to him. He's, he's obviously a player who's developed over recent years. He now, he now feels like he's ready to be maybe already is one of the best players in the league in Europe. I mean, is that, is that what you've got to ask him to make that next step up? To what I ask him to him and to all the players is to be the best version of themselves every single day. And that's the only thing that they can do. And then how good that version is, um, is very hard to tell on any player because we don't know. We don't know the Bukai of two years ago or today or on two years' time how he would be. But it, the same applies to the rest. And, and they are so eager to, to do that every single day. And, uh, and when that happens, they will evolve and, and for sure they will be better, they will compete better and they will understand the game better and they will be more efficient to make the right decisions. We may have too many hands for questions, but we'll try to get through as many as we can. Kaya? Uh, Gabriel Martinelli looks really on it today. Is that sort of a sign of what we can expect from him this season? That's Gabi. He needs to be alive. He needs to be energetic. He needs to take chances and, and go for it. And then something that I really like today and I didn't like so much two weeks ago, when we play Monaco is when he gave the ball away, how he tried back. 
and this is the, the defining moment because when Gabi is doing that backwards, then forward is the best, one of the best players and one of the most dangerous today. When, when he plays a different rhythm, no. I'm one from Sky. Sorry, Kyle, it has to be one each. There's too many people. Sky. Uh, Mikhail, Eddie, how pleased were you to see to get him off? How pleased were you to see him get off the mark uh, today in his uh, first goal? Delighted for him because he's a role model. So he's a player that was so disappointed with the absence of Gavin not to play a final. And what he did is came on the field in the final and changed the game. That's number one. And the second one, the way he trained this week, he was telling me, Gaffa, if I don't play, you are blind. You know? <laughs> so a lot of players come and say, ah, why I'm not playing? And you have to try to explain. Other players, they tell you, these are the reasons why I have deserved to play. And this is what exactly Eddie does. And this is exactly what he did. And then he goes on the pitch and he performs as well. So it's a clear example and a very good example for everybody. Jonathan? Mikel, as you say, there was some very dominant football there. You had a lot of the ball. But as you try to improve, you would be looking to move the ball a bit quicker at times to create this space. Especially in the second half. And especially when we are tuning love that the rhythm maintains. And we spoke that we won a very high rhythm game today because we knew the PC was going to get dry and it was really hot and it's going to be a slower. And everything that is against a low block with the Christmas tree and it's low just benefits the opponent. And uh, we need to stay away from those games. Okay, last couple, what you say? Mikhail, before the match, there appeared to be some ticketing issues uh, where fans to obviously struggle to get into yeah. thousands uh, waiting for the turnstiles. Uh, what do you make of this and how frustrating that must be for well, the fans? From my position, I apologise to, to all of them for what happened. Uh, in relation to the club as well as a speaker. Um, Apologise, we will look at it, what happened, try to improve it, and, and, and as well, thank you for everybody, for the patience that they have. Thank you as well for the referees and, and for us for allowing the kickoff to be delayed and make sure that we have the atmosphere that we deserve to play a, a Premier League match. James? Quick word on Declan. I think it was two, three minutes and he was already shouting at his teammates, telling them where to stand. How impressed have you been by how he's settled in as a the leader on the pitch. Very natural. We just seen him today. I don't know if it was after two minutes or ten, but uh, the way he's moving, the way he's coaching, the way he has integrated in in that dressing room, I think he's enjoying the position as well. He should have scored probably two goals today. Um, so yeah, more of the same. You know, he's not thinking, he's just acting, and uh, and I'm really pleased with what he's done. Thanks, everyone.